Those identified in this sinister plot include retired military and senior security officers who are working quietly with some sergeant officers, some powerful opportunistic business men who benefit from existing incentives for corruption and profiteering in the economy, including the current subsidy on PMS, otherwise called petroleum, and whose business is strengthened by the current uh, government policy. In alliance with them are corrupt and disgruntled politicians who are for once currently outside the corridors of political power, reality, after over 40 years of monopolizing power and manipulating Nigerians. This plot is almost perfected by certain disgruntled elements in, the, in Nigeria and their co-conspirators. They are currently unconcerned that the nation is at economic crossroads and are actively playing on the emotions and pains of fellow Nigerians by politicizing, sponsoring, organizing activities to heat up the quality through strikes, civil disobedience, legislative activism to prepare the grounds for their plans. Having been aware and studying the development of this situation since the emergence of the Niger Delta Sun in the leadership of this country, we have resolved to take serious steps to guarantee the security and survival of our people in the Niger Delta. We also advise all Nigerians to have to be aware of these plots, its deeper motivations, implications, and the consequences that will befall all of us. Accordingly, we strongly and unequivocally warn that the plot against the life of Mr. President and the derailment of his government is likely to spell disaster for this country and bring untold and sustained hardship to the masses, to the masses far worse than the temporary pains of a deregulated downstream petroleum sector is likely to cause. Renegotiate the new basis for our continued conflict existence as a nation. Two, negotiate a peaceful dissolution of the Nigerian state, as was the case with Russia, Ethiopia, Czechoslovakia, etc. Or, do, do we all allow the country to slide into a bloody disintegration of Africa and black races, the largest democracy? as did Sudan and Yugoslavia. As it appears now, the Sudan and Yugoslavia options are now very apparent and fearfully looming as the anarchy and potential loss of innocent lives, including plans to assassinate or overthrow the government of Dr. Goodluck Ebel and Jonathan portrays. This is totally unnecessary. If and when the plan is executed, neither the other nations and people know exactly what steps to take and will not hesitate to progress with necessary measures towards such steps but with environment our life our social equilibrium, including our political and cultural advancements. We will take no further of such if we all, as a country, wish to take the old lifestyle of consumerism and against raising up for a production-based economy and at the right time. 
we are baptized with the masses of Nigerian nations and peoples, whether they are from the north, the east, the west, the south, given the action we are now all called to face by the tough policy measures of government intended to save the country from looming economic crisis if we, avoid, if, we, if we avoid to take the courageous decisions and patriotic national sacrifice necessary for this to happen. We believe that Mr. President is under oath to act in the best interest of this country. We are amazed by his courage, boldness to lead, and courage and boldness to lead the country in this direction, particularly because given the nature of the political equation and balancing act and its minority status, as it's akin, this is akin to daring where angels fear to tread. Previous governments have shied away from taking this patriotic step. Of Nigeria and progressives to take steps to organize themselves for the eventual reinvent of the Nigerian state. We call on all young men to prepare for further directives as we study emerging developments. We are pained to see a great and promising country of the black race being pushed to its brinks towards disintegration by selfish and unpatriotic Nigerians. We wish and pray that the will of God prevail in this country. Thank you and God bless you. For and on behalf of the Niger Delta nations and people.